buy set, along with a few other goodies. So the first, the first item on the set paper, I'll save you a little bit. Right. Safe Haven five set. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Um, <laughs> I don't like being in front of cameras. That's why I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, so um, this is the Empire Claw. So this actually starts with an E. So you can think of it as E for everything. You can clean everything in your home with it. Um, surfaces, doorknobs, um, <clears throat> light switches, anything that you actually are trying to, you know, clean and disinfect. This is um, the, the first thing. This is actually our first, our staple of Norwex. So this is microfiber. Well, I wanted to tell you a little bit about microfiber first. So if you go to the, the store, Walmart, or um, you know anywhere you get microfiber cloths, in order for it to be microfiber, it has to be one sixth the size of a human hair. So you take one hair, a gray one preferably, and split it <laughs> six times. That is what's considered microfiber, and that's what Walmart and Dollar General and all those places actually can um, can um, sell. So what Norwex does, it actually goes a little bit further. They take that hair and they split it 200 times. So it's one 200th the size of a human hair, which that means it actually like is dense, a lot denser, a lot tiny, a lot smaller. And so it's actually able to pick up the dirt and the grime and the bacteria. And it's, and it's able to pick up 99% of the bacteria. So um, and that's why you can use it on everything and it, it cleans and disinfects with just water. So you get it wet, I actually got it wet before the party, and you just got to tan. Well, whenever you get ready to use it, you say, we say fold it like this, and then again. So it gives you eight sides to clean with. So that way you're not going back to the sink a hundred times trying to clean, you know, you can get pretty much your own house clean with just this uh, without having to go back to the sink. So what we do is you want to um, run it under the water when you get done cleaning, and that warm water actually expands and it swells the, the fibers, and so it releases all the bacteria and the dirt and everything that was actually picked up um, off of your surfaces, and then it goes down the drain and you're done. So once you get done with that, you squeeze it out and hang it up by this little tag right here. <clears throat> backlock is actually in these fibers. So what um, backlock is, is it's an antibacterial agent. Basically, and it's actually silver. It's actually liquid silver embedded in every inch of, this fi of these fibers. And of course, obviously, but a lot of y'all know that um, silver was used in the day, like with a silver spoon when somebody was sick. The medical professionals actually um, still use silver. I take silver every day right now, you know. So it's, you know, it's an antibacterial agent. And so whenever this cloth gets wet and you get done rinsing it out, it actually self purifies itself within 24 hours. So that silver actually inhibits the bacteria growth and it actually um, allows the, like the smells that you would get in like your kitchen cloths and stuff, it, um, it keeps that from happening. And so you can actually use this like multiple times. I know people that have actually called me three months later and said, how do I wash this? I'm like, you haven't washed it yet? <laughs> you gotta wash it. You know, but like you realize the time goes by so much faster, or quicker, because it's not, it, you don't have that smell to it. So, um, so that, and you're not, you're saving money because you're not having to buy cleaners, paper towels, and, and everything else like that. So, what is that called? Envirocol. So what I want to show you real quick is a chicken demo. And I was telling Judy about this, and I wish I could have showed her that, but she thought I was giving people shots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think she left. I would have. It's actually we watched the video. We would have held her arm and act like we were going to give her a shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I have here is raw chicken. That's gross, right? Yeah. So Are you going to touch it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to touch it, but I'm, I'm okay because I know I've got that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my raw chicken, and I'm going to rub it. Very gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, y'all can see the chicken yeah. juice. Okay. Right. Enjoy <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. That's the thing. the rescue. Okay, so I'm going to take my fryer cloth, and I'm going to I'm gonna turn it I over. didn't really put that on layer. Okay, oh, she did, though. Yeah, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> see it? I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it so you can 
can see the tag. I'm going to use the side with the tag on it so you can see it. I'm going to fold it. Okay. So I'm going to clean where I just put all that yummy chicken juice. <laughs> now, I'm going to put the side that I used to clean up facing the ceiling because I'm going to test it in just a second. So now I have this protein stick. Well, this protein stick is actually checking for protein. They don't have bacteria um, prep swabs, but these swabs are actually used in the medical field and the restaurants. They swab three different places and their restaurants, I think it's like the refrigerator door, the sink knob, or the sink handle, and then the cutting surfaces. And if all, the, all three of those places are actually, um, has no protein, then they pass their test. And if actually, and this is actually not a Norwich product, this is a Hygiena, Hygiena product. <coughs> Excuse me. So it says right here, if there's no protein present, then it's green. Gray, pink, or purple actually has, um, it'll have protein present in it. So, those three minutes are going to be protein present. So what I'm going to do is test where I just swabbed all that chicken and then I cleaned it off with the Norwex and Marifol. So I'll swab it all really good. Stick it down in there and that solution is actually going to test it to make sure now that you can see that it's green. You all see that? Mm -hmm. It's green. Okay. So now the cloth that I used, I'm going to test that too, all over that. You know that chicken juice got a hole in it. Shake it up. And it's still staying green. Okay. So you're going, I don't know anything about that. I don't understand that old swab. So that's okay. I'm going to take a little bit there. I'm going to take the swab. All over that chicken. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> and now, what does it do? And just like we put that chicken all over our cameras. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, uh, yeah. Play it with the miracle and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so that's a, that's a great demo that mm -hmm. I love to do. It's a, it's a visual for me, you know, if you're like me. And then, of course, the silver in the cloth, it, it stops that bacteria growth. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't show that it was in the cloth. So. Okay, so that is the cloth. I also wanted to explain to you that this is actually 10 million feet worth of fibers. So if Mama took one end of it, went to Canada, and I took the other end of it, went to the Gulf of Mexico, it would stretch that far. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's the number one reason why Norwex is, like, separated from everything else is because they... You know, it's so dense, it's more dense than any other regular fiber, excuse me. <clears throat> so, also, um, Norwex clean, or not Norwex, sorry, there's three ways to clean. The first way is to steam clean. So, if you actually, you know, take a steamer for however heat resist or heat, however high it needs to be, however long it needs to be on the surface, it'll actually remove the bacteria. The second way to clean is uh, this way. How many of us are familiar with this? How many of us read the directions before we actually use these wipes? This is what I was using when I was five, when I was pregnant. Oh, there's directions. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I did before I actually, you know, um, when I was using it when I was pregnant with my five-year-old. I was just taking the wipe. I couldn't. Hey, Jen. So, it actually says on here, first off it says on here, hazardous huh. to human and domestic animals. So that's us, ourselves and our animals. So we're putting this in our homes and we're actually, you know, putting this chemical yeah. that's unsafe for our family. And then also, in order to disinfect, this particular one actually says to wipe the surface and um, it needs to remain visibly wet for four minutes for it to actually disinfect. Then, you have to have a wet wipe, I mean a, a wet wa a wash, like a wet wash, and wash um, those surfaces that come in contact with food and well, anything that any kind of food, so your surfaces, high chairs, anything like that, you have to do a wet wa a wet wash after you've used <coughs> excuse me after you've used these wipes. So how many of us do that? I know I didn't. You know, so this is the chemical, and it also it keeps the uh, I mean it, the chemical residue is 
you know, it's still there, you know, so we think we've cleaned and then we've actually kept the um, chemical residues on our surfaces. So. Now, Norwex, the third way of cleaning is the way Norwex cleans. Clean, it cleans mechanically. So, I mean, if you, if you think about it, you go outside and you, know, you kill your weeds and then you go and you remove them and throw them in the garbage. That's how Norwex cleans. It's, it's removing the bacteria and get rid of it, getting rid of it um, instead of just pushing it around and um, leaving it on your surface. So, and it's not obviously leaving a chemical residue. So now, the second thing on the Safe Haven Vibe is the window call. So this is our window call. This is the best friend to the EnviroCall. It works on like uh, windows. If you have a window, you can actually clean if you want to. Um, <laughs> any shiny, any shiny <laughs> surfaces, anything that that is shiny. You know, this is what it's this is what you use, and it actually have. I mean, you, we use the EnviroCall wet, and you use the window call dry. So you go behind it after you clean your window, and it leaves a streak-free, beautiful color. Or color, but you know, it's clear. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and then it, it has backlog technology in it as well. So whenever, once you get done with it, you can hang it up to dry. Um, cause it'll be a little bit wet, but you know, you can also rinse it out if you feel better and then hang it up to dry and it'll, um, self purify itself. But you use the deep cloth first. Correct. Uh huh. You clean with this and then go behind it and dry with the window cloth. And then it, um, <clears throat> and it like really leaves a, a nice straight free. And you can uh, use that. Window cloth on like TV screens where you don't yeah. want wet. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to use an hour cloth on TV screens. Just that. We do have like a, um, another cloth specifically for what would that be called? Like TV and cell phone screens. Um, like non. Not like. Don't worry about it. They know yeah. what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Stay. I'll think okay. about it and it'll come to you. Okay, so I have this um, whiteboard and I'm just going to let you put that dirty chicken on. <laughs> it's clean. No, it's it's clean. clean. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's ejected too to make it clean. It's Earth Day, so I'm trying to. I don't want to do it very good. Try to throw on Earth. <laughs> it's Earth Day. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, you know what, uh-uh, I'm going to do it on the mirror, I'm sorry. You can see it better, see the street pretty better on the mirror. Yeah, and that window. Hey, that's a softball. My daughter's a softball. Uh -huh. um, okay. To me, it does better than even the newspaper. Oh, yeah, I remember we were talking. with newspaper, mm -hmm. newspaper, so it doesn't streak. And then also, like the chemical so. cleaners, the window cleaners and stuff that you're using, you're spraying your wife in, you're spraying mm -hmm. your wife in. And how many paper towels have you used? And then you're breathing in all those chemicals from that white, like Windex and, you know, those kind of cleaners. Okay, so I'm going to clean the window. I mean, the, well, the mirror. I mean, you can, can you kind of see where it's wet? Mm -hmm. Step a little closer. I'm going to lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to wipe it. Well, I mean, you can still see the streaks. Are you showing the streaks? Okay. Yeah, show the streaks. Show Ms. Ann over there. Okay. Yeah. See the streaks? Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm going to go behind it with the window cloth and dry it. There's a little dot there, but I think it's broke because somebody broke it. <laughs> yeah. She's got three girls. Wow. You see? Talk about your. How oh, it's real shiny, and you know, so you're not using those chemical cleaners, breathing them in, and using all those paper towels. So, okay, so that is the window cloth. And um, where is oh, right here? Okay, so the third item on the Safe Heaven 5 is the dust mitt. So, this dust mitt. It, it's kind of like mechanical cleaning. It actually removes the, the, the dust. So a lot of Swiffers and stuff that you use, it just pushes it around and you feel like you just dusted two days ago. And so this is actually, it's real fluffy. And so it picks it up. And then once you get done dusting, well, first off, you'll actually um, you'll rub your hand really good like that. It, has to, it, it works with static electricity. So you rub it really good and then you just go to town. You don't you know, have the duster, cleaner, or whatever the Pledge. Windex, Pledge, like that. yeah. yeah. Um, and also things like that, like Pledge, like chemical or um, liquid polishers and stuff like that, 
it leaves a chemical residue which actually attracts dust. Mm -hmm. So once you push it around, it comes back down to the surface a lot sooner. So whenever you're using the dust mitt, the normal dust mitt, you'll feel like you haven't dusted it in a while and you don't have to, you know. So once you get done going around and dusting, you actually use a rubber brush and you actually, we actually recommend going outside and dusting it off with the rubber brush. Now, um, the reason why we recommend that is because if you think about it and you're dusting it off into your garbage can, it's going to go back into the, yeah, into the, um, there. Yeah, because even when I go outside, I go, don't you go back inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, and it goes back into the air, it goes back, so it recirculates, and then it comes back on your surfaces again. So, um, go outside, dust it off, and you will actually get rid of it. Now, um, this is a great buddy if you're a beach goer. You can take it to the beach, you get ready to go back in your condo, and you got sand all over your legs, wipe it off. If the sand is not sticking this, and it gets all the sand off your legs and your feet. So, what's well, that I'm going next week? Mm -hmm. The dust mitt. Take my dust mitt with yes. me? Yes. Y'all, I, I swear by that dust mitt. My <laughs> husband didn't believe me after I ordered it. He goes, There ain't no way. I said, Here, go ahead. He dusted the whole living room in five minutes. And he goes, Order another one now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it works. Yeah. I know people have too. And they just, all these products you'll find yourself getting done a lot sooner. A lot quicker is actually, you know, can you attest how long you took for you to dust or whatever it was you were doing the other day? The other day, I cleaned my windows and my blinds, pulled all the furniture out of that room in there, vacuumed and cleaned my baseboards, pushed all the furniture back, vacuumed and mopped, and I didn't pull out. Of course, it's got the legs, so it's okay, but the buffet thing. Um, and what did I say? An hour and five minutes. Hmm. And I mean, without even what's in the yeah, about you'll find yourself sitting on the chat couch watching the movie quicker than you, you know. Yeah. So, um, these are great for the blinds. I don't know if you use, I mean, um, and then I the, tell you what's great for the blind. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah. This thing? The wand? Mm. That's what does the wand. Oh, oh yeah. Now. If it wasn't for the wand, I wouldn't have been able to get that done, but that wand, just goes right down those blinds mm -hmm. and those blinds, my blinds. Just rush it all in here and just do it. And I was able to get all of those windows, back windows. And I took it outside with the brush and brushed it all off. Yeah. Do you have to create electricity? No, I did. I, I just run my thing. I don't know if I had to. Yeah, because that, that one has little fingers, you know. Mm -hmm. so this, you know it, was, like, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, it, then I, that's what I used to go clean my baseboards. Mm -hmm. was the yeah. Don't look at the baseboard too hard though, because I hadn't finished them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't show your flaws. That's okay. We can this all. Yeah. 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 I can't do them like, Mama. Do you have grass in them? I have what? Well, I'll do it on here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Some ground sun. Oh, um, the, the the screens, your window screens. You know, you can wet this just a little bit. You can actually use this wet or dry, but you can wet it a little bit and wipe your screen screens screen, screens down, and you don't you're not having to take it off, take it outside, or take it to your tub. You know, trying to rinse it off. You use this wet with your window screens, and it gets it really well. So, did you not know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, <coughs> but I'm not going. Take them off on the inside. I'll take them off on the outside. Oh, well. Mine come off on the inside. That's weird. They got the windows on. Modular home, so that may be the Okay, um, I, I, I got onion powder out of your cabinet. <laughs> so, you know, that's cool. That's probably Okay, so I was just going to kind of demo. The dust mitt, picking it up instead of trying to get it on. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Just pick it right up. Pick it right up. I'm just gonna hold on to it. It's not blind. That's what I do. When I have her hand across, I'm gonna get it. It's dead. And then I'll take it off on the right here. And you just use the rubber brush and brush it off into the garbage can. Well, outside. I don't know if onion powder would be good outside, though. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Okay, so here's the cake.
Oh, you gotta walk around and show us all. I gotta see that. Smell. Mm -hmm. So it's cake mix, two eggs, and a can of Coke. No, this is all um non-stick, so you don't do that. But I put the icing around it, then I dump the cake mix inside of it. So when I dump it out, the icing will be on top. I got you can take one of my gluten pills. Cake mix. Mm -hmm. yeah. Betty Crocker and them are making gluten-free cake mix. And that's And you just spreaded the icing on the bottom? Spread the icing on the bottom. And then mixed the cake mix. Two. Mixed all that together and then poured it in there? And you can do a coat, dye coat, whatever. I don't know. I'm making a diet cake. Making a diet cake. Making a little healthier. Yeah. Okay, so the fourth item on the same Haven 5 set is actually the cleaning paste. So this is elbow grease in a jar. This thing is amazing. If I did not have this right here, I would stress myself out because I have three kids. You know what I mean? So, um, as a matter of fact, when I first started having my first one, I was cringing at the fact that I know these kids are going to be writing all on my walls. And I don't know how I'm going to get it off. Well, now that I got introduced to this, my oldest will come in and say, Oh, someone's going to need that. Okay, that's fine. I'll go get this and get it off. So um, it takes, you know, markers off the wall, the, the you white. You can use it real quick. I can't ask. On what? What'd you do? I dropped the cone. <laughs> Drop the. I got cones that go just on the center. Oh, she needs an e cloth. I got one. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's what I thought she meant the page. She got all of the <laughs> Hey, if you cling one leg, you got to cling the other one. <laughs> so they'll match. <laughs> okay, so okay. the door was cling that up real quick. I'll help appreciate it. Exactly. Um, and that's what I say, too. Like, we have counter cloths over here. So it feels like that. It's so easy to have. Mm -hmm. Link it up like that. You said you say? Yeah. The cone. Oh, there it is. Look. How pretty. The cone fell out and icing went all over the floor. But now. <laughs> cool. Well, when y'all finish, finish up, we're going to go back to the corner. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Norway. <laughs> when y'all finish, y'all can cut you a piece. See, that's the good thing about Tupperware and Norway's is they last. You know, they're sustainable. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. So this, like the rims on your shoes, um, like I said, marker, anything on your couch, pretty much elbow grease in the jar. I mean, anything that you need elbow grease with, it works. So it's at, in, the ingredients are marble flour, so when they cut the marble, they use the, the powder that comes off whenever they're cutting it, they use that, they use um, natural soaps and then coconut oil to make this. And when you open it up, it is like rock. So it's not like creamy, but it's rock. So, and I just broke it. <laughs> Good job, Jim. Right? Um, but this last, I actually have another jar of it that, I mean, I've been using this for about two years now with demos and cleaning and stuff, and you can kind of see there's a little bit of a dent. So it lasts forever, or a while, a long time. Oh. Ma'am? A long time. A long time. And um, so you're not having to, like all the other cleaners, purchase every couple months. Um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do now with my mirror finally is I'll try to draw an earth again. So this is a sharpie. So it's permanent marker. Permanent. She never took art class. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it looks like a softball. <laughs> so oh, get her daughter can face beat softball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um so I don't know, I guess that's why I keep writing doing that. It's like in my brain. Mm -hmm. Um, so, which, I don't think I have any teachers in here. Weren't you a teacher one time? No. Oh, um, so yeah. Oh, you're a teacher. Oh, okay. Um, great. Yeah. This will be English, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's probably judging me right now. I'm <laughs> sorry. I didn't do good in speech either. <laughs> I took speech online, so mm -hmm. that's okay. I'm I don't even take speech. 
don't lie. <laughs> Same way I did. It was the best. Well, I, guess, I mean, you no know, wonder about it here. one time. <laughs> Of course, then I was in this other program. We had to give a speech every class. <laughs> At the end of every class. So. Yeah. That's right. So you'll love this because I'm sure you have plenty of markers. And marker I drawings. used to teach. But yes, yes, I still have one. <laughs> well, I'm, sure plenty, I'm sure all of us know plenty I also teachers. Have, I also have the jar of that little stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it home. Keeping a test. I'm going to test. I'm going to take it So I came off really good with our That was wet. Hang on. You know Can y'all tell she's passionate with this stuff? <laughs> and the thing is, she uses everything that's on the table. She believes in it. I really do. That's, good that's why I'm telling people I'm a sheriff person, not a sales person. Okay. Because, I mean, and we can, you know, we can actually fix and, and help our four walls that we're in. I mean, unfortunately, we can't help the fact that when we go to Walmart or Kroger or anything like that, or schools, you know, we don't know what they're using, but we can actually, you know, create a safe haven in our own home, you know, so. Okay, let me try that again. All right, so now it fades a little bit, as y'all can see. I mean, it will eventually come off with the Envirocloth, but it's taken me elbow, elbow grease. grease. And now, I do have, in Sunday school, I do have kids using real markers on whiteboards. Oh, and that does not come out. Mm -hmm. So this is good. Yeah. And it don't take much. I just swiped a little bit. Got a little bit on my cloth. On the embarrassment. On the embarrassment. Dry. Wet. Dry. Wet. Oh, it is. Your cloth is wet. Cloth, cloth is wet. Or, um, turn them off. I'm just mm -hmm. out of yeah, I actually, when she gave my youngest daughter for Christmas, one of those whiteboards, like whiteboard on one side and then um, chalkboard on the other. And my middle right. child took a, does it get the marker off of chalkboard? I have kids that are not used to chalkboards anymore because they have whiteboards at school, so they can use marker. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure it will. I haven't yeah. tried it. But, it, I mean, like, literally, my middle child sat there. The whole thing was covered. That, but I got it all. You missed my baby. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, She's so sweet. I know this. <laughs> so yeah, this is great. Like I said, for the rims of your tennis shoes. Um, depending on your lights on your car, you could use it on that. Um, it. The thing about it, that is depending on your the. It's either glass or plexiglass or something. It could scratch it. Um, any other kind of surface you want to use this on, we do say use it on, you know, in conspicuous area just to make sure it doesn't. I do my stove top with it. Yes. Really. <laughs> um, this. I have a glass stove top. And our Speary Sponge, I always have to think about that name, Speary Sponge, <laughs> is great for the inside of your stove. Mm -hmm. So we oh, have um, self clean. Beep, beep. It's good. Oh, yeah, but sometimes you probably have that burnt. I mean, does it get the burnt yep. stuff? Mine, mm -hmm. my stove yeah. does. Yeah. My oven does, right? You don't get the burnt off the stove, it gets the burnt off the oven, though. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the fifth item on the safe haven five, the last item, is the laundry detergent. So the laundry detergent is free of everything. Um, it has a list on the bag. This is actually the bag that you would get if you were to purchase a bag. Um, Excuse me, it's biodegradable, it's no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine or bleach, no fillers, no aqua brighteners, no animal testing, and there's no dye and fragrances. So, I mean, it's free of everything <laughs> completely. So, and it's actually, I meant to bring a little scoop. The scoop comes with it. The instructions on the back, we say do not go by those instructions because these are based off of Canadian, of the Canadian water. And of course, we, I think they have harder water, I believe, or maybe vice versa. So the scoop that's in it, we say use a third of that scoop. The scoop's about that tall. Do you have a scoop? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to say maybe if you want to grab it, if you wanted to. Um, just to kind of give them an idea of what a third would look like. It's like about a tablespoon, um, a, te a half a teaspoon to a tablespoon, um, depending on what the load. But a full, heavy, or large load would be about a third of a cup, or a third of the scoop in there. So 
It lasts a long time. You can get about 250 loads in an HE um, washing machine. We have also two other options. We have liquid. Yeah, here's the um, scoop. Yeah, scoop. So it's, a, it's already a small scoop, and for a large load, you just have to use a third, a third of that. A third of that. I wish I would have done pictures, but obviously I said with Taylor being in softball, I just recently, I mean, some of you that follow me on Facebook seen pictures where I, I mean, it's completely full of dirt. And then I soaked Sliding it. in the sand, too. Yeah, and I soaked, it took maybe about twice with just this, and they were completely white. Yeah, so... Um, so this is how you would actually wash your microfiber also. We have microfiber cleaner um, that you could, if you don't want to purchase this um, if today or any time, and you want to get something to actually clean it with, we have microfiber cleaner as well. And we also have, I do have this here with me today. Like I said, we have a liquid option. These are strips and they come like it's two strips perforated. So like if you're, you know, you go and you, um, a beach or traveler is what I'm trying to think of. Um, these are perfect because they can slide in your bag and you take it with you and you can wash your um, clothes there. You know, a lot of times condos and stuff have washing machines and stuff and they leave um, detergents and stuff that you can use. The normal is detergent by taking one of these instead of having a log for the go bag. So, um, then where is my right one? Okay, no, that's not it. It is this one. This is it. This is it. It's the microfiber cleaner. I was thinking. So basically, this is um, the detergent is like an everyday use, everyday teeth. It's basically everyday teeth cleaning. The microfiber cleaner is basically the trip to the a trip to the dentist. So what you want to do is actually like soak this. If you get both of them, you soak about 30 minutes in warm water your floss, and then you can throw them in the washer to um, wash the rest of the way. You know they get dingy. I mean like you know really gross and stuff. But I mean you know it's just a deeper clean basically for your fiber. So um, now that is the same type of fiber. Want to remember what those are? It's the barrel cloth, the window cloth. What did I do with the dust? That was the really thing for me. The dust mitt, the paste, and then this. So Norwex likes to package things up to help save money. So the package, the packages are towards the back of the book, and it helps you save money on the products that you want. Um, you know, if you want to start off with a smaller package than this, or a bigger package too. So, um, I wanted to point that out to you. Now, uh, one of the, I wish mine was in here now. The mop, you will never want to buy a mop again after you purchase this mop. So, this is the dry mop pad, and it velcros onto the mop um, base. Excuse me. So, this is yellow, so it actually is like for the sun, um, sunshine. You, know, you can think of it like that. But every tabs on our stuff will tell you what it's for, and it says floor dry, so you know, you pretty much dust your floors with this. The the handle is telescopic, so I mean, you can be as short like Maddie, if you wanna, and my kids love the, the mop, or you can be like really tall, so it goes, and you want to, in order to have a measure, you wanna kinda of put it right here at your nose level. So, if you have a husband that's really tall, he can mop for you. Um, so we say when you put it on the Velcro, so leave a little space like that so when you come up to the baseboards, you can make it lift up like that and it'll dust your baseboard at the same time. So whenever you're dusting or dry mopping, so you want to go around and just go in a figure eight motion like this. Oops, sorry. So if you think about them, you see how fast this is going? I'm actually going to try to get that picture right there. And it didn't work, but it's okay. I'll come back to it. It's so light. Yeah, and it's feathery. So. So, I mean, you just go and figure eight motions and dust your floors. See how fast that is? You're dusting. And then, of course, anything that's obviously, like, bigger, like, you know, if you're like me, you have Cheerios because of kids, or if you have, you know, any kind of droppings on the floor, cat food, it just goes in the front. And take your empower call and then just wipe that stuff up and you're done. 
So it stays in the numerical. You might miss an earring. <laughs> And then once you get done, you just unwrap it from the base. All right, well, this is another way you would use your, the, I'm going to put this back up here so you can see, the rubber brush. You dust it off outside, just like you would do your dust mitt. These are $16.99, but there's ways you can get it for free by hosting a party, um, or or you can purchase, that, purchase it outright, or becoming a consultant, because that actually comes in the consultant kit. So once you get done dusting, this is the wet mop pad. So it's blue, so blue for water. So it helps you remember, but then again, the tags will tell you. And you just, well, either way, you can do it two days. You can wet it before you stick it onto the, the base, or you can take a, like a, one of these or one of these. We actually, those are forever spray bottles, it's glass. This is plastic. I like to use the glass because I like to put essential oils in it to make it smell good. You can either spray it with this or spray it on the floor. Or you can take it, the, the pad, and get it wet and wring it out. I like to just throw it on there. <laughs> Makes it quick and easy. And stick it on there and then do your mop. So this is um, a way to be able to risk, um, get this for free too is to host a party. I'm offering if you host a party and have a $750 order with one booking, then um, I'll give you the mop system for free. And that's the wet mop pad, the um, dry mop pad, the base, and then the hand mop. So, that's all I got. Um, for, I have up here, like if you do, or you, if you're interested in hosting a party, I can do it online, Facebook, in home, anyway, any way you want to. Um, I have host rewards. But then for Earth Day today, if you order today, you get 10% off, $20 or more, or free shipping off of $100 or more. So, and I, sorry. You said you were finished, right? Yeah, but I was going to say, I have a try me station, so if you have sunglasses or glasses, feel free to go over there and use that, and you just clean your own. You know, I'm talking about the dust wand and... Okay. Yeah, because we've been bragging on it. <laughs> This is the dust wand, and it actually attaches to the mop. You unscrew it right here, and actually this is a, a brush right here, so you can, like in your window seals and stuff, you use it to get like, the dust and ladybugs like I have, and stuff like that out, and just sweep it off. And then it'll attach, and I'll show you the really cool, how it attaches to the mop. It has these little, you call them squeeze buttons or whatever, you take the base off. And squeeze buttons right here. And it can bend. I mean, you know you're, you're going to clean the fan. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm showing Ms. Ann if it's real high. You don't have to worry about getting up on the ladder. You can just get up there and mm -hmm. mom and they don't want me to be doing this. Yeah, Hers is pretty clean. Look yeah. at you, mom. <laughs> it's I'm I so impressed. Because I just use that old thing right there. Huh? It's because I just use that old thing. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, if you got a pile, extend that. <laughs> extend it. it. And you go really so we, we book a party and you cut our house in clean. So, yeah. <laughs> just don't dust that week, and then when she comes, oh no, don't dust for a month. Yeah. So, I mean, you can do your drill wall or ceilings, you know, and actually, let me also show you. We have, we do have like, if you have a camper or if you have a small bathroom, small rooms, these, these mop pads and the small base. Hook and hook to your handle as well. This is a window pad. I think I think that's all size. <gasps> I, I forgot that. about my window pad. Did you order one? No, I don't have the small one. I got the big one. Oh right, you do have the big one. Um, so yeah, the window pad comes in the large and the small. I think it's three sizes. I think there's even an extra large. I so saw that when I was looking in mm -hmm. the So table. you can attach this to your your handle. And if you have real high windows, mm -hmm. you know you can. Um, use the wet mop to clean your windows and then go behind it with the, the window pad and clean your tall windows. So, 
you can pretty much you can pretty much touch every bit of your home with any of these products. So feel free to look through them here and oh, see what all. But before they start looking, let me see one, just the one. So take this off. Uh huh. That's what I was thinking. That you can just do it with your hand in your arm. This is the blind trick. <laughs> That was it. Mm -hmm. That was all I did. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. And they, I mean, and they were. And she had to get it in inside there and do like uh -huh. yeah. to see those little yeah. fingers. Mm -hmm. They go yeah. up in between those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was. I mean, the only reason I'm, I'm so is because I just did it this week. I was so amazed because mm -hmm. I thought this is really mm -hmm. not going to get it in the little. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, how I did you clean that after you got it? That's what I was about to show you. You can actually, it slides right on off. You can throw it in the washer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I took mine after doing all these blinds. I took so it outside and right. so I had to wash it. Yeah, yeah, because you don't have, you know, any of these products, you don't have to launder every time you use them. You know, you can use them multiple times before you actually have to wash them. So that's how it's sustainable and just like Tupperware. <laughs> well, I've just always hated cleaning blinds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, you have to do yeah. the yeah. 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 And then you've got the cords in there, so you're yeah. trying to get up in those cords. Yeah, yeah. Them yeah. Side, yeah. 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 I even try to wash them yeah. over yeah. And, and I put them in the bathroom. Oh, yes! So, does anybody have makeup on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody willing to take their makeup off? Oh, excuse me. Is anybody willing to take their makeup off for their body fall? <laughs> oh, you take my off. Can a hostess have to do it? You want me to do it? Just barely says she's going to do my off. Hey, Tiffany, barely says she's going to do it. You take my off. You take my off. You do it, baby. You breathe. Go do it. No. Yes, you are. Well, I mean, or I'll take I mean, I mean, I'm. Whoever is willing to do this is to take this off. Take this you'll see what it is. It really looks like at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I'm going to give it a mirror. I'm going to let Jana get it wet. Okay. And I'll let you take the mirror and do it. So, I'm not going to. <laughs> so, first off, you're going to give me a facial. <laughs> you, know, you don't want me to give you a facial. Give me a clean house, a facial. You don't want me to give you a facial. I'll come cook for you. We'll do cookware for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so pick which colors. Three colors. That's solid gray, the color, and the color, and the color. I'll let you pick which it's color. Now warm, Jana. Huh? Warm. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> warm. Unless you like cold water on your face. <laughs> oh, now is your bath mat Norwex? No, it's not. It looks like it. But now the hand towel is. That you, I when, love you, it was when you wash yeah. your hand, oh, you took it down. Never mind. These are hand towels. Oh, I mean, you know, you got to wash your hands. You use soap, but if you don't have everything taken off with the soap and the water, this has backlog technology in it, and it removes the bacteria and stuff off your hands. There's all there's all kinds of colors in there. I think these are the ones I have. It has a little bee and then the gray. I saw a uh, mermaid. Christmas. Christmas. All right, I'm here's sure. the war. Yeah, and the kids. Yeah. We do. I mean, <clears throat> I don't have any of the kids' stuff. Jana probably had some. I could have told her to bring. Hey, sit. Um, She's ready. She's I'm just wash. Sorry. Yeah. You want the mirror or? Oh. Um, you don't have to use cleanser. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm soap free. Here's that if you want it. Um, I've been soap free for about a year and a half. I don't use soap. I don't stink. I hope I don't stink. I don't think I stink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we've been smelling. <laughs> I think people would tell me if I stink. Um, my kids are soap free. I'm working on my husband. He almost would have, but this is the bathroom mitt or the bath mitt. So it exfoliates from one side and then it wipes off on the other. So it's soft. This is what I use, but I mean, 
you can look at it. It doesn't stretch. And I mean, in my hand, it's pretty tight. <coughs> my poor husband couldn't even get his hand in there. So I've actually submitted something with our um, our team to try and get a bigger one for men. Mm -hmm. And then this is our back scrap or not back scratcher. You know, clean your back. It's got the same stuff on it. Okay. No. So, so just water for the back. Just, I mean, for the. Back. Back. It feels good because it scratches your back too. <laughs> yeah, just water. Nothing. No clean. Just water. No clean. Hmm. Okay. How are you liking it? You doing good? My own natural. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I've actually done a demo where I've taken, I think you're watching it, I've taken the marker, the magic marker, and mm -hmm. put it on my face, cleaned it, and it came off. Oh, the kids will like that. Uh -huh. They like to draw on people. So, oh. And they like to draw themselves, too. Uh -huh. Now, I will say this. Our um, detergent... Do so you feel like you're clean? Yeah. Yeah. And you, you feel, feel clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, it almost has an yeah. exfoliating. See, I use that for my face. I take my makeup off on at night with it, mm -hmm. and then I wash it again in the morning in the shower, and then I use my cloth, my mint to bathe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what I was going to say is the detergent, it has no fragrance. Um, we actually do have the liquid that it, I think it's like lavender or something. If you're one that, you know, your skin is the, um, is the, the largest organ, you know, and so it takes 26 seconds for chemicals to actually be absorbed into your skin. So if you think about it, your clothes that you've washed in chemicals are touching you more than 26 seconds, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, your sheets, your towels, everything like that. Um, if there's chemicals on it, you know, it, it's absorbed into your skin. So, but a lot of us are like, even you, I think you had that problem. Um, you wanted your clothes to smell good. Mm -hmm. You know, we're used to that. But you gotta think of it like this, clean doesn't have to smell. You know, um, we have these fluff and tumble, tumble dryer balls, and when I, what, I think I've talked her into this, but you take essential oils and drop some essential oils on it and put it in your dryer, and it, yeah, no, because I can't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and you, yeah, so and it gives a little bit of a fresh smell if you're used to that, but, um, you know, it's kind of like using natural deodorant, you kind of, we do have deodorant, but I don't have that right now yet. Um, but I had tried my clothes without it, without the ball. I mean, doing it as if I'm going to put the balls, but not put the ball. They were still, they were, they just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. And when I put those back in there, the next one, it was just totally. It reduces I don't know how your it dryer. It, but yeah, mm -hmm. it reduces your dryer time and also reduces the, the um, static. And if you're if you're one that uses dryer sheets and um, what's the other stuff, the uh, little beads, mm -hmm. uh, like the downy beads, so the liquid yeah. and salt. Uh -huh. Yeah, those are the biggest like um, chemical like induced mm -hmm. stuff that I mean they have a whole like a long list, including formaldehyde for those two products. So mm -hmm. if you use those, you want to ditch them because they're not really healthy. But um, so that's why I was going to say about the dryer balls because that will help um, do the same thing as. Dryer sheets and um, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Downy. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I mean, even downy in my wash. I don't put downy in my wash mm -hmm. with them anymore. I mean, when I'm putting those in the dryer. Um, kitchen towels are amazing. Did you use a kitchen towel in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, it dries off. Like, I don't, when I would wash my dishes, I would wash them and put them in the dryer, and then it'd be two days later, and then I go put them, put them up because they're finally dry. When I finally started using that, I'm like, I love that they're dry because they dry so easily. They absorb, they absorb seven <coughs> times the uh, the weight of it of itself in water. So. I don't have a problem with clean dishes in the drain. You have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna mention a few things. I do have. I mean, I don't know. I love to talk about every bit of it. <laughs> this I know. With Daddy having his um, liver transplant, and he has to have his produce clean. So these are. Um, why don't you do you use this one? I use that one yeah. on my apples. Oh, okay. I use oh. those on my apples, but then I use the. I love the liquid in the bulk, you know, putting it in the water. Yeah. Because you just Fresh put your produce. strawberries in there, or my grapes in there, mm -hmm. and just rub them around and then put them in my colander and rinse them off real good mm -hmm. and 
they're you healthy. You can't buy produce from the store, just from like Kroger and stuff. You know, you're I don't know what I would have done. Like, if they had not had those products for me, for him. Well, I, I'll go back to that face cloth. Mm -hmm. When I was in the hospital, I couldn't take baths and stuff. In the mornings, she would uh, rinse it out for me, and I could do my face and stuff. It felt like I just had got out of the shower. Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't. It's yeah. not drying. You know, like mm -hmm. even when you use, you know, moisture or um, cleansers, mm -hmm. a lot of times, mm -hmm. unless you use the astringent afterwards and then the moisturizer. But it doesn't, doesn't feel dry. Yeah. And I feel like you need those other two steps. Right. Um, is that a makeup remover cloth or just a face cloth? It's a body and face cloth. We have makeup removers, but a lot of people have learned that they like the body and face cloth better than the, the makeup removers. Mm -hmm. It's like a. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do like this because I did. Grayson and Jim. That's it. I know Jim, um, your mama bought some for me. I don't remember what it was like that. We have travel size um, body and face cloths. They come in a pack of three. So these are great to put in. Um, you know, when you're traveling or putting in your purse, you know, stuff like that. We also have travel size empire cloths. I have one in my purse, one in the diaper bag, you know, stuff like that. So it's good to have whenever you go eat. You know, you have a, a menu that you know, tell them who's touched it, you know, wipe it down with the wet travel empire cloth. And, okay. and the napkins they use today? The neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I always tell them, I'm like, y'all need to be up under me and help me with it. It's just, it is, it's amazing because all the paper towels, I mean, it's, I think people spend, mm, it's about $600 a year in paper towels. You know, and not and, now. They've gone up so high. Yeah. Yeah. Do that in a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if y'all saw, saw those napkin, napkins, you know, mm -hmm. beside the plates. Those are great. Um, and then we also have counter. This little set right here is so cute. Mm -hmm. nice. And you know, if you're not a black, white color in your color, and, and you want to, you know, spray paint it, mm -hmm. I saw where somebody, another consultant, did that. I'm like, why didn't I think about that? You know, because to brighten it up. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, the counter cloth, this color scheme right here is just what I've just had over the time and just stuck in there. So we have like three set color. I think my colors in there are different. Yeah, I think yours are like purple. I think yeah, I have the purple one too. Yeah, yeah. I think I have the purple and the blue. So they're the size of half sheet paper towel. So this is great for obviously whenever you spill stuff. You know, I actually Maddie of all kids. It's always about Maddie. She spilled. Poor Maddie. There was a. It was a little over half of a bottle of water on the counter. She spilled it. I grabbed one of these and it like soaked. It may have had just a little bit of drop left, so I went and squeezed it out, cleaned it up again, rinsed it out, and then you can hang it over the house to dry, and it self purifies itself mm -hmm. like the Miracle. So that's better than a quicker picker rubber. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you're saving your, yourself buying all the paper towels and all the trash and everything else. So um, it's just, I mean, we do have a roll. I have a roll of uh, paper towel in um, my house just because I have cats and dogs and. Goats and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, not goats in the house, but I <laughs> don't. Yeah. You know, so you don't have to have a kid. clean kitten stuff up from with your paw. So, but I mean, that's a roll of paper towels that I probably keep in the house for a year. Yeah. You know, we have. I um, take the fire pop and write on it, cat. But clean cat stuff with your fire pop? A separate one. I don't have uh, a cat. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we ain't um, getting a cat. We also do recommend, too, like, I mean, if you're like me, you have men in the house. I mean, going to the bathroom. Watch it. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, you know, y'all know how men are in the bathroom. I've three you know. boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say four. So, I mean, yeah. no, Paul, get you a separate entire so cloth for the bathroom and then a, mom, a separate for the rest of the house. But mm -hmm. then again, we also I mean, we have all kinds of different things, but we have a bathroom yet too. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can keep it in the bathroom and use it. It works just like that bar ball, except for it has a scrubby side and then a soft side. I actually used mine this morning and it, it scrubs like the. And I know a lot of y'all don't have little ones, but here lately, the little ones have been here, so we've been bathing. I had forgot how they can dirty mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. bathtub. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot that. <laughs> well, I got in there this morning and five minutes maybe. Yeah. 
I was waiting to take my bath, my shower. All that scrubbed off with just warm water in my mitt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's stuff, y'all. I just, it just cuts down on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. We have, like, body care products, too. Like, I have this bomb. I've been actually using this. This is what is great for your feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw, I showed you pictures. Um, like, your heels and stuff are real bad about cracking and getting cut and drying. Um, Marcus has been using it. On his elbows, and it's been really it's helping. But I mean, it's great for any kind of skin. You know, if you have young ones that have not eczema, it's something. It's just like dry patches of skin. My babies need it and stuff. It's like it's great. Anyway, lots of other stuff. But. <laughs>